Cameron County, Willacy County, Hidalgo County, Star County. We have been living a lie. For as long as we could remember, the four of us comprise the Rio Grande Valley of South Texas. We've been taught that since first grade. The funny thing is that in the first grade, you also get taught about landmarks like mountains, rivers, lakes, and valleys. Quick refresher, a valley is the space between mountains. An example of a valley that I posted on this channel would be Waterville Valley, New Hampshire. It's called Waterville Valley, New Hampshire because it is a village situated between several of the White Mountains of New Hampshire. If you're in Deep South Texas right now, however, look out the window. Where are the mountains? There are none. We're living a lie. Why are we called the Rio Grande Valley if we're not a frickin' valley? If you Google this question, Wikipedia and all the Google results will tell you something along the lines of that in the early 1900s, this whole area was marketed as the Magic Valley as a way to attract speculators and investors from other parts of the states to throw their dollars in deep south Texas. Cattle ranchers saw the opportunity for the wide open spaces for, for their bulls and cows. Uh, farmers saw, saw they took advantage of the deep, rich, fertile soil from the river. And people otherwise, they just saw signs of promising economic growth in the cities and towns around here. If you're not from Deep South Texas, you, you, you would probably be intrigued by a name like the Rio Grande Valley. Not something more realistic like the Rio Grande Delta, the Rio Grande Chaparral, the Rio Grande Floodplain? <laughs> nah, let's just call it the Rio Grande Valley. The RGV rolls off the tongue. <laughs> yes, that's what Wikipedia will tell you. That's what Google will tell you. But there is a reason why your grade school teacher despises Wikipedia. Because Wikipedia is also living a lie. It implies that the, that it's called the valley because it's it was marketed as the Magic Valley in the 1900s. What they don't tell you, people have always called it the valley. Exhibit A. Let me introduce you to my girl, Helen Chapman. She was the wife of the quartermaster of Fort Brown here in Brownsville. She... she came here from Massachusetts in 1848. Literally when Brownsville was being born. The news from Brownsville, edited by Caleb Coker, is a collection of all her letters. Conveniently transcribed from handwritten to print. <laughs> so everyone can read it. They were letters written to Helen's mother up in Massachusetts describing what life was like here in 1848 before any of the Magic Valley marketers and speculators came here. F 50 years before that, she and the founders of Brownsville were here in the valley before anyone else. And she describes in at least three spots in the book. She describes this region as the Rio Grande Valley. Page 102. If this valley is ever destined to great commercial and agricultural wealth as some suppose, so long as I live, I shall look back with vivid distinctness on the scene that first met my eye where the government depot and Brownsville now stand. Page 124. Uh, during the, the cholera epidemic that ravaged the area. The cholera seems wholly to have disappeared from the valley of the Rio Grande. We fervently hope it not to return. 
Now, what about page 292? I have had a very pleasant day and have called on four ladies. The ladies express great delight that you are to remain in the Valley of the Rio Grande. And if that's not enough, one of the first newspapers of the area was called the American Flag. Check out the headline from the issue of May 8th, 1852. It says, the American Flag a weekly newspaper devoted to no particular party, but to the welfare of the Valley of the Rio Grande. I suppose that proves it. Both Helen and the newspaper, THE newspaper, perfectly conclude that this place was called the Valley for as long as, uh, as American settlers have been here. Well, why? 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 Were there mountains back then that, that just disappeared? What's going on? Were they hallucinating mountains? Were they tripping? <sighs> we gotta consult someone else. Maybe there's some, there's, there's something to the word that we're not quite getting. For that, we must consult the book I'm sitting on. Webster's Third New International Dictionary. Is there some secret to the word that we're not taking into account? Vacuum. Validate. Valley. Definition one. An elongated depression of the Earth's surface commonly situated between ranges of hills or mountains and often comprising a drainage area. That's pretty much what I said at the beginning of the video but in bigger words oh definition two an area of generally flat land extending many miles inland and drained or watered by a large river and its tributary streams that concludes it it's the second definition that nobody cares about let it be known that we are living a lie on top of a lie. We are called the valley, not because we're in the middle of some imaginary mountains, not because it was marketed that way in the 1900s as the Magic Valley, but because a valley also happens to be flat land with a river running through it. Problem solved. We cracked the code. <laughs> Which means that by extension, Northern Tamaulipas should also be part of the RGV. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, there we go. We did it, everyone. <laughs> we solved the riddle. Well, have a good one. Stay woke. Kick ass.